Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Last week I posted a video of a statement from a gentleman by the name of Dr. Peter Doshi on Capitol Hill. Now, Dr. Doshi is a highly intelligent individual. He is a professor at a major US university. He's a PhD, and he's also senior editor at the BMJ, a major international medical journal. In his statement, Dr. Doshi was posing several thought-provoking questions about COVID-19 vaccines, and he was doing so in a spirit of open scientific debate. He wasn't telling people what to do. A few days after I posted that video, I received a message from YouTube saying that the video had been removed for quote unquote spreading medical misinformation. I then appealed the decision and YouTube got back to me saying they upheld their original decision. This video was in effect removed because Dr. Peter Doshi was deemed to be spreading medical misinformation. For those of you who are curious about that video that has been censored, a link is down below. You can watch the video via my website. I then went online and checked on several other channels and the video was removed from there as well. This was Dr. Peter Doshi speaking for about five minutes and he was doing so very properly and again in a spirit of intellectual debate and stimulating open scientific discussion. This is troubling, it is outrageous, and also shocking on multiple different levels. And the point is not whether you agree or disagree with Dr. Doshi. Disagreeing with people is perfectly allowed. It's the fact that Dr. Doshi has been censored like this. And I'd like to think of a couple of things here that add insult to injury. They rub salt in the wound. Number one is that Dr. Doshi himself was calling for open scientific debate, critical thinking, and intellectual curiosity in his video, but he was censored. Again, he wasn't telling anyone what to do. He was merely stimulating a scientific discussion, and he was using scientific facts and data to do so. And secondly, that Dr. Doshi wasn't speaking alone in some room. He was speaking on Capitol Hill in a building that was among our temples of democracy in this country, which is supposed to be all about freedom and open speech. The more people see things like this happening, the more people are naturally going to draw the conclusion that there is perhaps something nefarious going on here. Why on earth would you censor somebody like Dr. Peter Doshi and ban his voice from being heard? Those of us who are in medicine and science for the right reasons, we know that this is a field which is all about being challenged. It's about being poked and prodded, challenging previous assumptions. That is the fundamental core basis of scientific progress. Future people who watch the video that I'm making now of my response, once the fog of all of this has lifted, I want you to reflect as well on two things. Number one, that this was the United States supposedly the most free country in the world where things like this were happening in 2021. And secondly, that a lot of people in the medical and scientific community were staying completely silent while all of these things were going on. Because the fog will eventually lift and we will realize the outrageous things that we have done over the last 18 months. One of which is, in my opinion, banning somebody like Dr. Peter Doshi from being heard. And again, it's not the fact whether you agree or disagree with him at all. It's the fact that somebody asking questions in a legitimate and proper way, doing so on Capitol Hill, has been banned on YouTube. So I do hope YouTube can think about this decision again. This, of course, as well means that my channel has another strike against it, and I'm one step closer to being deplatformed myself. So I hope those of you who haven't had a chance so far can join me on locals.com. The link is also down below. Dr. Sunil Dan, Medstroik Lifestyle Medicine. We'll speak again soon.